we've been tackling the most tedious commendations in the Sea of Thieves. And today, we're diving into the greediest of all the trading companies. If you want to get these, then you're gonna need these. We sailed night and day, fought skellies and other pirates to show you how to get the hardest gold hoarder's commendations. Because as we all know, it's not about the gold. It's about the commendations. This commendation easily gives you the most bang for your buck with cosmetics in every category. I'm talking about ship set, title, clothing, equipment, instruments, and weapons. And that's not all. It also unlocks more than one skin in most of those categories. So how many barnacle chests do you think we need for this? 100? No, try 300. <laughs> so let's play a game. Can you guess which of the following chests are classified as barnacled? Look at these, obviously barnacled, right? No, not barnacled. How about this chest that's been recovered from the depths of the sea and is covered with living organisms? Nope, not barnacled. So what about these variants of seafarers, marauders, castaway, and captain's chests? Yes, of course these are barnacle. So how do you get them? Voyages? No. Shrines and treasuries? Sea forts? Vaults? No, no, no. The only way to get these barnacled beauties is through random encounters, specifically along shorelines, shipwrecks, and skelly ships, including the fleet but not through player-generated fleets, so don't even try to grind these through raids. Honestly, the number of barnacle chests you're gonna find in shipwrecks can be underwhelming, but we found that the fleet was the best way to get these, netting us anywhere from two to eight chests per fleet. And now that the Chest of Fortune has moved, the fleet is likely to go uncontested, making this commendation even more achievable for new or casual players so that you can look like the coolest pirate to ever wash up on shore. And that's all there is to say. We have a core memory from when we were baby pirates. We made the mistake of leaving one of these unattended on our ship, and we learned the hard way that it can sink you. So we started ignoring them until we realized that selling 100 of them came with a title that we wanted. And as it turns out, these crybabies are the least common and the most cursed of the cursed treasure. There's a chance to find these in the wild through bottle quests, skelly forts, shipwrecks, among flotsam, or randomly crying on islands. But the chances are low. So we were determined to find an efficient way to complete this commendation. And while this tall tale guarantees a chest that counts toward the commendation, it was way more work than I was willing to do. However, the voyage for Cursed Treasure was pretty promising. This voyage will get you a compass to three different islands to embury two chests that you don't care about and one chest of sorrows. Sometimes you can get lucky and find the chest of sorrows on the first dig, meaning that you can end your voyage early and just start a new one. Quick side note though, I wouldn't recommend stacking too many of these on your ship unless you plan to transport them with a detached rowboat, preferably one with a harpoon if you can find one. Also, try to keep in mind, this isn't Animal Crossing, so when other pirates attack, and trust me, they will, these chests will become a liability. If you have a good handle on the PvP aspect, you can get away with keeping a few of these on board, but you have to be willing to drop them if necessary. During the filming of this video, we generally had about two to three chests on board at any given time while we were fighting other crews, and we were able to manage it because they didn't put too much extra pressure on us, but I definitely wouldn't recommend that for most other crews. If you get lucky enough to find an angry chest, some people would recommend putting it below deck like this, but I suggest bringing it to the front of your ship and dropping it in the water because it's garbage and not needed for any commendations. You do get commendations for the Chest of a Thousand Grogs though, but you can find this almost anywhere, so it doesn't really matter if you accidentally drop it off the ship. Oh no, it's too bad we don't need that anymore. Okay, so before we move on, I want to emphasize that the Barnacle Chest and the Chest of Sorrows need to be sold at an outpost, 
selling these to the Reaper's hideout won't count toward the commendations. This video wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about the vaults. And no, I don't mean these vaults. I'm talking about these. Opening 100 vaults is a lot, but Season 11 has made vaults a lot easier, with the vault key being found a lot closer to the vault island. Sometimes it's even buried at the vault island. Sometimes you might get lucky to find the X on the first clue, and that can really cut down on the length of the voyage. But if you get really good at knowing the map, you can even work with the fragment of an X on a sliver of an island. But if you have your luck maxed out, you won't even need an X. If it still sounds like too much work to search for map pieces, I do have another suggestion. Either you or a crewmate can sneak on a gold hoarder ship to steal the keys from unsuspecting pirates. It's just not always going to be easy to pull off. There are seven vault locations, which I'm going to show on the map right now. So if you see a ship at any of these locations, you can at least get a good idea of what they might be doing. And don't fool yourself into thinking that you've lost the opportunity because they're already at the vault island. Because these are so easy to stack now, they might have more keys on board. And the only way you're going to know is if you swim or rowboat over to find out for yourself. I'm not here to judge, so however you manage to get your hands on the vault key, you just have to find the vault opening to place it. And if you're feeling extra ambitious, you can even decode the puzzle inside to open the tiny vault within the vault. These vaults all work the same way. There are three hidden medallions that, when placed, will reveal the symbols for the first three columns. The fourth column is a combination of the three, meaning one medallion is all you need to figure out the middle two column symbols by referencing that fourth column. And if it doesn't work on the first try, that's fine. Just change the fourth column to an alternative solution that still matches the first column, and then adjust the middle columns to match the new solution. Thankfully, the Hoarder of Ancient Tributes only requires selling 50 chests of Ancient Tributes to the Gold Hoarder. But you'll need another 20 to sell out the Reaper's Hideout for the Reaper of Ancient Tributes Commendation. Just remember, these are only attainable in Gold Hoarder Vaults, Siren Treasuries, and some Shrines if you really like puzzles, or if you are also trying to find the new Windcaller. Whether it's Hoarder of Dumb Sailor's Chest or Hoarder of Captain's Whatever, you can get those anywhere as a swabby, but the commendations I just mentioned are going to require special attention. And again, I am not here to judge, so just remember that you can always steal from other pirates, especially if it's something that you need more than they do. And if by any chance I have ever stolen from you or ever do in the future, I apologize right now, and I hope that you learn a valuable lesson from it. We're also planning to start on some of the newer commendations and adding those into the videos, but first we want to solidify which ones are going to be the most tedious and worth our time. But we do have a really big move coming up in real life, so I can't promise that the next video is going to be out in the next few weeks. I'm going to try my best to get it out as soon as possible though, because it is one that I've been wanting to do for months. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching until the end. I'm kind of just getting started on YouTube and it's a fun thing for me to do right now. So if you like, share, comment, or subscribe, it really means a lot to me and I appreciate it a ton.